Hello there. Welcome to our Fishy Matter episode 7. In this episode, we will be talking about the definitions and functions of different body fins of the fish, from median fins, to fin, the lower lobe is longer than the upper lobe. Flying fish have hypocircle fin. Another category of caudal fin is the homocircle. The lobes of caudal fin and homocircle fin, is equal size and of similar shape. This is characteristic of most of the modern bony fishes. There are seven types of homocircle caudal fin. This include 1. Lunate 2. Forked 3. Truncate. 4. Rounded. 5. Emarginate. 6. Leptocircle. 7. Leptocephalii. The first example of homocircle caudal fin is the lunate. Fish with lunate caudal fin have crescent shaped tails. It is a characteristic for fast swimmers and constantly on the move. Tunas and tuna like species have this type of caudal fin. Fish with a forked tail, are also fast swimmers, though they may not swim fast all of the time. The deeper the fork, the faster the fish can swim. Examples are round scads, and mackerel scads, among others. Truncate caudal fin is like a square or triangle shaped dot R. This type is very maneuverable, but generally lacks speed for swimming. Some catfishes exhibit this type of caudal fin. Fish with a rounded or flattened tail, are usually slow moving, but are capable of short bursts of speed swimming. Groupers and gobies are examples. Emarginate caudal fin, is in transition between truncate, and forked caudal fins. It has less water drag than the two types. It is also effective in acceleration, and maneuverability in swimming. Examples of fish with emarginate caudal fin, are the sea bass, and snappers. Leptocephaly caudal fin is thin, ribbon-like, and pointed. It is usually found in juvenile eels. Leptocircle caudal fins are pointed, or whip-like. 
It is the caudal fin exhibited by rays and cutlasses. Next type of median fin is the dorsal fin. It is the longest fin in the fish body and used for stability in swimming. It is located on the mid dorsal or back side of body. It is used in propulsion and maneuvering and during aggressive interactions. Dorsal fins exist in single and double or split type. It also comprises first dorsal and second dorsal fins. In the cinch fin, it is continuous, merging the first and second dorsal fins. The first dorsal fins are usually made of spiny rays, while the second dorsal fin is made of soft rays. Spiny rays are stiff, unbranched and unsegmented. Soft rays are soft, branched, and segmented. Anal fins are usually long, and can be erected during aggressive interactions. In some species, it is modified into a gonopodium in mosquito fish, or clasper in sharks and rays. This gonopodium or clasper a long extension of the anal fin, a part that is used in transferring sperm from male to female fish. Paired fins are fins that usually exist in pairs. It is located in one side of the body. This include the pectoral and pelvic fins. Pectoral fins are located on each side of the fish, attached to pectoral girdle behind the head. In spiny rayed fishes, it is situated higher on sides of the fish than the pelvic fins. Its function include for propulsion, turning, breaking, and maintaining balance. Some species use pectoral fins to push a fresh, oxygenated supply of water across developing their eggs. Bottom fish often have rounded and broad pectoral fins. This include the lionfish, stonefish, suckers, and sculpins. Fast-moving fishes have long, pointed pectoral fins for gliding, such as in flying fish, or flying in the water, like the manta and eagle rays. In other species, their enlarged pectoral fins are used mainly for display, such as to startle predators, or to signal their poisonous spines. Another type of pectoral fins, are the pelvic fins. Pelvic fins are also known as ventral fins, which are situated on lower part of fish body. Similar to pectoral fins, pelvic fins located on each side of the body, and are attached at pelvic girdle. These are also used for stabilization, and stopping. There are three types of positions of pelvic fins, relative to pectoral fin. These include, abdominal position, thoracic position, and jugular position. The first type is the abdominal position. In this, the pelvic fin is positioned toward the rear end of pectoral fin. It is a characteristic of primitive fish. Fish with this type of pelvic fin have fusiform body shapes. The pelvic fins assist in steering and braking. Sturgeon fishes and milkfish have this type of pelvic fin position. Another type of pelvic fin position is the thoracic type. In this type, the pelvic fin is just below the pectoral fins of the fish. This is the type of pelvic fish of most of the fishes that exist today. Tilapia, grouper and tuna are good examples of fish with this type of pelvic fin position. The last type of pelvic fin position is jugular. In this type, the pelvic fin is in front of the pectoral fins of the fish. There are some lampreys, eel and eel-like fishes, which have no or have small pelvic fin. It is for ease in squeezing in tight places when hiding from their predators. In bottom-dwelling fish, pelvic fins are modified into organs for holding onto the substrate. Frog fishes are good examples for this. They use their pelvic fin to hold onto the substrate, to avoid better washed away by current. It acts as their hand. Research shows that primitive fishes have abdominal pelvic fin, evolving into thoracic, and later on, to the modern type, the jugular type pelvic fin. There are other fish fins that are not categorized as median and paired fins, it is called, the other fins. These fins are characteristics and found only in some groups of fishes. This include adipose fins, and the finlets. Adipose fin, is a small and fleshy fin without stiffening rays. It is located between dorsal and caudal fin. It is an identification feature of trouts and salmons, lantern fishes and relatives. The function is largely unknown, but may help the swimming ability in the post-larval stage of development, when other fins are still developing. 
The other fin that is found only in some groups, are the finlets. Finlets are small rayless, non-retractable fins, located between the last dorsal or anal fin and caudal fin of some fish. It is common among fast-swimming fishes, and an identifying feature of the family Scombridae, the tunas and mackerels. When fish is swimming, the main fins collapse into a slot to reduce drag, while the finlets sac to stabilize the motion. That's all for today folks. I hope you learned something from me about external parts of the fish. In the next episode, we will tackle about the body fins of the fish. See you. Bye bye.